Hi Max, uh, here's uh, a flange bearing that we were talking about yesterday on the telephone. This is my hair. This is a four hole flange bearing. You can also get these with uh, just two holes. The, uh, the bearing, I'm using a, a wooden dowel here for a shaft, but normally you would use a, uh, a steel shaft, or it could be aluminum, but normally steel. So the bearing turns as you expect, like, you know, the shaft turns in the bearing like that. Normally it's part of turns with it, but uh, this shaft is kind of loose there. But the point I, I want to uh, try to make is that the bearing also turns like this, like that. So if you were to uh, try to set it up for a vertical axis uh, machine, it would turn sure that way, but the thing is it wouldn't be stable like that. So what you can do, you can take two bearings, another flange bearing like that, identical one in this case, and uh, put the uh, shaft through both of them, like that. And once these are bolted together, the shaft won't be able to move in that direction anymore. You could have this like mounted on a, a piece of wood, for example, with a, a hole in the middle, uh, bolted that way to space them a bit, or on a box or whatever. Uh, as long as they are bolted together uh, in one way or another, right through here to there, they uh, will stay stable. In, in that direction like that. The typical way of doing this, of course, uh, would be you mount these bearings on a, on a chassis of some sort or uh, say here and here. The axle would go through and say wheels could go right here as an example of a typical uh, application of it. This uh, variation like this, this helps align the, uh, the bearings uh, for you know frames and chassis that are not perfectly uh, square and in line with each other. These bearings come uh, uh, locking collars like this here. The collar just goes over there. You notice that this is uh, this ring here is eccentric, and likewise on the collar, so that when you put it over there, you turn it lightly until it fits over, and you twist it, and you, there's a little hole here. It doesn't go all the way through. You can use that a pin or whatever to hit it with the hammer and lock that right in place. And you can also tighten up the set screw to uh, further lock in place. Once that's locked in, they they simply don't move. So the shaft would wouldn't be able to move in this direction once it's locked in. So that's the general idea behind it. Hope it helps. Talk to you later. Bye.